Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, welcome to another one of my Battle Breakers videos. We're going to be looking into how to get stuff once again this time around. What can you get from hammers? A huge thanks to everyone out there using my support to create a code Loka Hansen in the Epic Games Store, testing out, trying out, buying new games. I'm deeply honored about your support. Remember that a portion of sales goes to me when you use my support to create a code or link. So what are hammers? Hammers are rewards that you can get in the battle pass. You can get them daily for completing missions. You can sometimes buy them in the different stores and you can get them in different gem offers. And they're used in here. And we have a lot of different hammer quests, hammer chests that you can select. You will always have three shown at a time. And I just want to highlight some of the ones that, as you can see, I saved up 300. This is my favorite hammer chest, the advanced upgrades chest, because it will give you mana potions and it will give you like the greater potions, strength and health elixirs. The big ones, the major ones that I always seem to run low of, like the value for a chest like this is unbelievable if you had to buy like the things in the stores. If we have something here we're going to be looking into, we have a bronze and silver hammer quests and we have a dark hammer chest. This time around I'm just going to be taking the silver hammer chest so that you, you guys can see like what can you get from the silver hammer chest. Most of the hero hammer chests are RTX parts, we have proximity locators, core hero traces and special experience points which is pretty much what I got here as well. So like taking down one of these, bashing a single chest will give you a relatively low amount of special experience points, but in general enough to summon one or two heroes from the Skybreaker page, and you can randomly get gems in any one of these. So now we have a Dark Hammer Chest, Essence Hammer Chest, and Basic Upgrades Hammer Chest. So let us check out what we have in Basic Upgrades. We had Advanced Upgrades before, giving us Major Potions, now we have basic giving us a little bit of special experience points and some minor elixirs. In my opinion, this is the worst chest that you can use in the game. So I'm never ever gonna go in and do it again. This was only for the sake of demonstrating what you actually get in it. As you can see now we have a gem hammer chest. Obviously a favorite as well because you always get gems in it. The last gem, the last crystal in any chest will give you whatever the chest is called here we have pure gems and then in the last gem we normally get from 50 to 100 gems making gem hammer chests amazing for getting gems unfortunately we can't decide what we get so now we have a bronze hero hammer chest and we have two of the normal essence chests we had a silver hammer chest before now we have bronze and it is pretty much the same we're just getting like lower amounts of core hero traces. So like as you can see we have more of these proximity locators because they will all else equal always give you bad heroes where the core hero traces that we had more of before always give you something like something better very rare as like things you can get and other rewards. Took another one here for advanced upgrades like I said my favorite chest because I always need these elixirs potions for my heroes once again we have advanced upgrades we have basic upgrades and we have a water hammer chest so even though i want to showcase variety i i kind of have to take this because i need 34 mana elixirs for every single one of my heroes and this is one of the best ways for me to get it at least the cheapest now we have a light hammer chest nature and we have essence all of these give essence but this one is specifically about essence. So you can see we got one nature here in the first three. Sometimes I can smash them all. Sometimes I need to click twice. We're getting a random amount of essence. Not something like one of each. As you can see, we have two nature here. And then of course we have these power sources. So the essence hammer chest will give you more essence than an actual essence hammer chest. But it's not always guaranteed. Once again, advanced upgrades kind of need to go there because I just need these elixirs so bad. You can get one, oh, I believe it's two to five elixirs in every slot. So this time around I got four mana elixirs, which was amazing. 
I consider the normal essence ones, these water or nature ones, as a bit of clean out things. If I don't have anything I need, I select those because they're always gonna give power sources that I can just sell. They have a chance to give gems and they only cost six hammers. They will again give these like two to five essences of whatever type the hammer is called. Now look at this stuff. We have the advanced upgrades that I like, but we also have a hammer hammer chest. The hammer hammer chest will give you one to two hammers for every crystal in the chest. So whenever you see a hammer hammer chest, you will always have more hammers after bashing it open than you had when you started. And if I didn't mention this, every time you break one of these crystals in a chest, you spend one hammer. So once again, advanced upgrades, my favorite kind of thing at least until I have maxed all heroes, so we're talking like a year <laughs> into the future. Again, getting these elixirs, the greater ones, the major ones that I want. Again, advanced upgrades. It is like if I had to select, I would go gems first, then hammers or hammers, then gems, and then advanced upgrades. But we're going to be looking into a lot more stuff because we have, hey, another hammer hammer. Many of these chests can also be rare giving you better rewards, which is more important for some type of chests than it is for others. But I hope I'm going to be able to demonstrate that as we as we reach them, hopefully like right around the corner. Silver hero, nature hammer, bronze hero. For me, the nature hammer chest would be what I select here because the silver and bronze hammer chests are pretty bad in my opinion. They are expensive. They give low special experience points and they give proximity locators and co-hero traces that I feel I can get better elsewhere. But as you saw here, we can get randomly gems in here and it happens like relatively often. Dark hammer chest, fire hammer chest, I would just select the one where I feel I will be needing that type of essence the most. But I got 12 gems out of this one and 3 fire essence so it was a really really good chest to be selecting. Again, I have two different hammer chests for normal single essence, just selecting one of them because the top one was uh, not at all interesting to me. And mostly where these are just my, my clear out kind of things. Advanced upgrades or fire hammer chest. I'm going advanced upgrades. Big surprise. I don't know if there is any kind of rotation in this. I have been trying to look into it, but it doesn't seem like there is a rotation. For me, it feels really random, but look at this stuff. Rare mana elixir rare nature hammer chest, rare advanced upgrades. So we're getting bonus amounts in all of these chests. And of course they cost additional hammers as well. So what I need most in the game often is mana elixirs. But look what happens when I actually take a rare mana elixir hammer chest. I only get eight. So I'm getting double of what I would get in the, the advanced upgrades chest. So it's not like specifically mana elixirs I'm getting here. I might have gotten even more mana elixirs just by going with a rare advanced upgrades. So now we have rare nature hammer, rare basic upgrades and rare silver hero. So we're going to be getting more like higher amounts of whatever we would be getting before. The silver hero is of course the core hero traces. It is the proximity locators, RTX parts, SXP and we got a few gems in here as well. But if you compare what I got here with what I got in the previous one, it doesn't really feel as like a super rare. But as you can see, 293 core hero traces is almost enough for one of the treasure map locations. Advanced upgrades, hammer chest, dark and fire. <laughs> Once again, big surprise going in for the advanced upgrades for the elixirs that, like I said, 10,000 times already I really need. So now once again, we have a gem hammer chest. 10 hammers and we're gonna be getting like on average I think I'm getting 100 ish 125 probably because we're getting these 5 to 10 in each and then 50 to 100 in this one down here so it's always a good supply the one we have a top now level resource hammer chest keep a note on that one we also have here a pet hammer chest which is a good way for you to get the cloud puff cookies the resource that we spend to buy like pets from the hero store. So you're getting a decent amount of them. And here it is one of the few relatively stable ways to get them. 
we're going to be looking more into the level resources as we get another because it is a very interesting chest to open if you get it as a rare chest but hopefully i will be able to get one of each so that we can compare because the rare one is pretty amazing uh, but yeah once again elixirs because i need that in my life gem hammer chest once again come to me <laughs> amazing absolutely amazing so at least you're getting some some comparison values for the gems here like 5 to 10 and then 78 so pretty nice we have the essence hammer chest i have the light hammer chest and i have the basic upgrades normally i would just go with the light one because it costs me the fewest amount of hammers and there was nothing here i really needed as such like that's how i how i see it dark hammer fire hammer again what do i need the most nothing in particular so i just select one of them hoping for gems and then we're moving on to another advanced upgrades wow so many advanced upgrades i have been in luck this time around now for me this is lucky <laughs> getting a lot of these is lucky for me all right so we have the level resource hammer chest this time around i didn't select it the last time i really hope we're going to be getting a rare one but here we're going to be getting a lock picks which is like an info oh and gems so we're getting a lock picks and that is cool if you don't like mindlessly grinding trials like we do like when we're done with the game um, hopefully we will get an advanced level resources because in there you can get uh, the maps that will allow you to play the special maps the cloud 5 map the meat uh, fragments all that kind of stuff there we have it rare level resources hammer chest and we also have rare basic upgrades and we have a rare dock hammer but the rare level res I, I really hope i'm going to be getting something worth showcasing here because they can be amazing look at that five lost meek city fragments amazing planet's core map and we have drifting ghost ship fragments and we have lock picks as well this is a really really like high profit kind of thing that will allow you to get these like access and completions for some of the rewards that you may have a hard time getting some of the stars so we have another one here <laughs> what do we have drifting ghost ship fragments loads of those and a few lock picks so the other one was definitely better Ooh, what do we have here advanced upgrades makana makana chest man <laughs> absolutely amazing Ooh, stashing up on these like crazy and once again dark or nature i would just like nature but anyway guys this was a video hopefully to like that would shed some light upon how do you get different things in battle breakers and you can get different things from the hammer chests and the hammers are acquired from daily missions from battle pass when you spend things in the hero shop the different packs the different things that you can buy on a 12 hour basis a lot of them will give you hammers as well there is no bonus to stashing up on hammers you may as well just burn them as you get them so this is one of the many ways that we can get different things in the game so if you need a pet you can go in here hope to find a pet chest if you need fragments for some of the different how to enter maps like the cloud 5 you can hope to find the like the rare level resources if you just need elixirs you can go in and aim for that if you want core hero traces if you want proximity locators like many of the things we need and use in the game can be acquired from the different hammer chests so that was really what i I wanted to add to the pile the last video that I did was not the last video but the last how to get stuff in battle breakers was just about the proximity locators that give heroes that you can convert into core hero traces and essence and this time around a few other things it is a bit more random what you can get in here depending on how many like hammers you have how much you farm towards it but we can get a lot of the really important things in here so if you're missing lock picks cloud puff cookies that kind of stuff this is one of the options that we have in the game to get it so anyway guys that was what i had to share in this video i hope you enjoyed as always thank you very much for watching thank you for your support thank you for like commenting i love your comments liking subscribing sharing my videos with your friends and other players i'm deeply honored about your support for now, thank you very much and very much for watching.